Hey, welcome back AutoCAD students and in today's tutorial we are going to insert an OLE object into our drawing. What this is, is it's an image but it's permanently attached to the drawing and it's the, a great type of image to use in a title block for instance because that image is permanently attached to the title block. It's a great way to put a company logo or something like that onto something in AutoCAD that you know you want to keep permanently attached, okay? So this particular object is really permanently part of the drawing. It is not linked in any way, okay? So with that being said, um, let's erase this one and I can show you how I created it and put it back in. So the first thing I did is I went to um, the website, the Cape Cod Community College website here, and um, what you can do is you can um, pick on an image, this particular image here, and you can right click and pick save image as, all right, and you can save it as a PNG file uh, and then open it up in a program like Paint or something like that. Uh, if that doesn't work and you want a certain image, you can also do a print screen, which I like to do, which is on your keyboard. So you're gonna hold the control key down and in the upper right corner you have a print screen button and when you press those two together it actually saves an image of your computer screen okay so now that I've done that I'm gonna open up a program called paint uh, most Microsoft Windows come with this program this is a very simple image program that you can use and I'm gonna actually paste this into paint because we've already done the print screen so I'm just going to do control V and that um, paste the whole image in and I'm going to crop out what I want so I'm going to come up here to select and I'm going to make a window like that and I'm going to come up here and pick crop okay now um, the image I need in my AutoCAD drawing if I go back here uh, it's going to have to be rotated and we cannot rotate an OLE object um, image in AutoCAD. Uh, you can rotate a regular image, but not this type of image that we're going to be doing. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually rotate it in here. So let's rotate it to the left like that. Okay, that looks good. And now I'm going to save it. So let's do save as. I'm going to save it as a JPEG. So I'm going to call this for C. Um, OLE JPEG. I'll call JPEG in the name too. You don't have to do that, but anyway, let's save that. All right. Okay, let's go back to AutoCAD. And you want to do a command. Um, I like to find it here from the pull down under insert OLE object. Uh, if you're not using these pull downs, you can also actually type in, and I'll type it in right now. I-N-S-E-R-T for insert OBJ, okay? And we're going to find it because we already made a file out of it. So we're going to do create from file. I'm going to pick browse. Okay, here it is. Let's pick open. Let's pick OK. All right, and here is, here it is. Here's the image. So I'm going to move this image over closer to where I need it okay now obviously the image is too big um, but fortunately we can with grips and I'm going to take my ortho off um, with grips we can kind of scale it in the X and Y accordingly all right let's move it again see how it's looking in here I'm going to take my O snaps off for a minute Okay, that's a little bit big. And again, let me come down a little bit more. Okay, now another thing I can do, it looks like it's laying on top of the title block. And I'm going to make it just a tiny bit smaller. Um, I'm going to send the image to the back. So I'm going to actually come up here to the Modify panel, and there is a really neat command here called Send to Back. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on the image and do an Enter. And now the image is underneath 
the heavy lines of the title block. Okay, let's move that up a tiny bit. Okay, there, that looks good. All right, so I'm going to actually save my drawing now. And now we have this image permanently attached. And again, if I type in XREF, notice it is not linked to the drawing. It's actually a permanent part of the drawing. Okay, so I hope that helps. Uh, like I said, with any type of image that you're going to attach like this, do your rotating ahead of time in another program. Save it as a JPEG and bring it into CAD.